This video is not intended for viewers under the age of 13. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to bring you something that I've been waiting for for a long time. I should say everyone's been waiting for for a long time. Seems to be the most drama filled item that this community has seen for a long time. That of course is the Xbox X Trans Boss trailer. Uh, I mean, this has tied to it. I have seen lies, price changes, delays, any kind of drama you can think of. But that being said, I actually bought two of these, uh, one for my display in alt mode and the other uh, for my display in my combiners display um just a little bit of backstory uh it came down to dx9 and attila and this guy for me um i mean those are really the only two options as far as other than fans toys fans toys i'm going to use for my alt mode uh for with x trans bots my plan has always been to have a uh, vehicle mode display and then use him as the combiner mode um, uh, with DX9 Attila, it came out to, when you look, it came down to actually figures. So Motormaster, their version of Motormaster, I think it's Capone. It looks great. And then I got a close up look at those feet. And the fact that there's a truck cab on top of another truck cab. Once you see that, you can't unsee it. So that lost my interest. Plus, their Attila, to me, it, it looks too boxy or bulky up top. And it it comes down to, to me, the X-Trans box appears more cartoon accurate. But all that being said, let's take a look at the trailer. Stay tuned. All right, as usual, we're gonna start things off with accessories. Comes with a really well done collector's card. Nice product images on the back. One thing that's interesting is the box and the card, they all say gravestone, but it's supposed to be monolith, right? Because it even says monolith crush. And the mechanical behemoth known as monolith. So that's definitely a printing error which is interesting. I need to check to see if my second one has the same error. But anyhow, it's got some stats on the back. Nice bio if you want to read it. Nice artwork as well. Comes with a instruction manual. It's done pretty good, uh, to be honest. But my only gripe is that it forces you to go from trailer into base mode and i'm going to tell you now this is not going to be included in my review just because one i really don't think anybody cares and two i don't want to put the stress necessary to get this transformation into place we all know that x trans box is notorious for Pieces rubbing on pieces, things not lining up right, unless you shove past something else. I'm not going to put the stress on my bot. But, I mean, it, it does okay. Uh, I just looked at a couple of uh, transformation videos I found online, and it worked fine. Uh, it comes with an alternate face. Which is nice. Uh, X Transbot somehow got away with painting the eyes as well as incorporating a light up feature. So you do not get the dead eyes look that you normally get with a light up feature. So it's really well done. I do wish the mouth was painted black on the inside, but I can't complain. Uh, you get the sword, 
which is a bigger version of the sword that came with Gravestone. If you can see this. Nicely detailed. The problem is it bends for storage. And this one's okay, but since I bought two, the other one will not straighten out for me. I tried manipulating it. Doing everything I can to get it to be straight. So thankfully I got two. Plus, you can see there's two stress marks here on the top that coincide with the pin insertion on the back. So definitely too much tension on this assembly here. More than likely, what I'll do with the good one is I will probably either put some kikis in the joint or just glue this like that all together see this one even has a stress mark on it so i really wish it was one solid piece i can see why they did it but i if i'm not going to use it i would rather store it than cause the issues that this is going to create in the future and then it comes with the blaster now this is also just a bigger version of what we got with Gravestone. Uh, same detail, just bigger. And a deeper purple. So it looks good. This can also collapse into a smaller gun. It's really tight, but it can do it. It can also fold up the handle for storage. The gun will store in the hand with a typical masterpiece peg and paw method I'm gonna make sure that the thumb is definitely wrapped around in the right position and the finger articulation will definitely help it stay in place as you can imagine the sword stows in the hand the same way as the gun with the peg and paw Although I must say it is a tad bit more difficult to get it into the hand. Let's try if you like to see if you like this one better. There we go. And they will both hold securely. Alright, both the gun and the sword can actually store in the back in combined mode. Uh, you'll see this adjustable key on the back of each weapon and the way they work is they just simply plug into these holes which can be easier said than done but once you get them in there you actually have the ability to pivot them any way that you would like so it's nicely done so if you follow me on instagram i send out a message a little bit saying opinions mattered I really couldn't decide which Decepticon logo to put on here. So, me being a cartoon actor kind of guy, I did decide to go with the Toy Hacks cartoon sloppy logos. Which, to me, out of the ones that I had, the purples matches the color of the trailer better anyhow. But, um, here it is in all of its robot mode, sorry, vehicle mode glory. Uh, it looks really good. I mean, it's got wonderful detail throughout. I love the purple paint. The wheels are actually rubber and do turn. Uh, nicely detailed. Even the uh, components of the bottom of the trailer. If you look at the top, it's got detailed in fans. There's not too much. Well, I'm not going to lie. There's, there's panels. Um, but with any any robot that's that's going to turn into a combiner with everything concealed you have to expect that to be honest so moving around there's the view from the front 
not too bad. Same thing on this side as before. And there you have the back. I mean, it's nicely detailed with the taillights painted. You got the rubber tires. Plus, part of the transformation, you've got another set of tires on the inside. These are plastic, but it is real to life accurate. So, no complaints there. So, as far as the trailer itself, it does look really, really good. Be it maybe a little on the big side. I still think as far as this mode, it was definitely, definitely worth the wait. Now you can give the illusion by lowering the back tailgate that the cars are loading up, but due to all the, the components inside, I can't get mine in to close. But that's how it came from the factory because this one I'm not actually transforming. So if I manipulate it, I'm sure I could probably get Wild Rider all the way in. But for now, it's not how I'm going to display it, but at least you get an idea of what you're looking at. And it doesn't have to be Wild Rider. You can do that with any, any of the crew up to a certain point, obviously. Now the trailer does have fold down legs. This is one of my gripes. There's no locking mechanism or even a ratchet. So the slightest forward motion on it and it's gonna go. So that could have been done much better. And it does attach to MotorMaster using exactly their same identical connector as what was with MP10. Um, that was one of the purchasing features on Gravestone is, hey, the MP10's trailer will work, but as you can see, it is there and it can pivot. So you will be able to turn it for posing if you want to. Here we have Greystone and the trailer all hooked up. Been waiting a long time for this. I think he looks really, really good. He uh, does pivot. Which is nice. So you can get all the poses you want out of him. He is pretty long, not gonna lie. But he does look really good. Just for comparison, lined up back to back. You can see the differences between MP10 and Greystone. So MP10 is about an inch and a half longer than the trailer itself. Which, I mean, that's not, I wouldn't say that's not accurate because there are longer trailers and taller trailers. It's about an inch difference here. But I still think he looks really good. I don't have any complaints. And there he is with the rest of the team. Like I said, I've been waiting a long time to get a shot like this. Another view of the team coming head on. I think they look really good. Could not be happier, to be honest. On a side note, just noticed the missing mirror right here. So now I'm going to have to spend a couple hours looking for that tiny piece. And here we have Motormaster himself. Gotta admit, he definitely fits the fits the bill. It uh, looks really, really good. Let's try and zoom in on some detail here. And just bear with me. I'm gonna be going a little freestand just because of how big he is. But yeah, I mean, looking at the detail on the face, I love. The metallic painted eyes, they look really, really awesome. And even with the paint, the light up feature works superbly. Wonderfully painted gray face, a bit shiny, but.
but what can you what can you do? I love the cartoon accuracy of the shoulders. Both the cars on the shoulders and the arms. We're gonna come down. Nicely done painted chest. You got some clear purple on the crotch, for lack of a better term. Looks really good. Nicely detailed thighs. And then coming down to the feet. Nicely done and detailed feet. They look really good. Especially with the two bots hanging off the back. I like how the attachment mechanism is actually faux tires that are designed to look like the actual tires on the vehicle on the back side. Definitely not as clean on the back. You've got uh, Greystone just hanging out back here. So it creates a bunch of, a bunch of kibble. Got the whole lower half of the truck just hanging down the back. Lots of screws on the back of the legs, but still detailed nicely. And then come down to the feet. This guy is definitely dependent on his heel spurs to keep him upright. And a lot of the time I find that he's actually utilizing leaning on Wild Rider too in order to assist with standing up. So, not the best from the back, but hey, who displays your bots from the back, right? Here he is next to Toy World Constructor and Zeta Toys Bruticus. I think they, uh, they all look really good together, although I must say he is the most unstable of all the combiners that I own. Man, he does look good. Final thoughts wise, what can I say? Start with the negatives. Negatives. He is definitely unstable. Um, once you get him into a pose, he'll stay there. The trouble is getting him there. Uh, there's no sort of grip on the bottom of the feet, so if you're on any kind of flat surface, he's going to want to slide out because the hips are not ratcheted enough. To be honest, the soft ratchets just don't do it. Um, other than that, I mean, he's a little bit kibbly in the back, but he does look great. I have no complaints. Uh, the good man, what can I say? He's got he's got a great presence on the shelf. Uh, he's definitely cartoon accurate. In my opinion, more cartoon accurate than the uh, DX9 offering. He looks good. Uh, transformation is a bit of a bear sadly I, that's why I didn't go over it on the uh, video because that would have turned into a train wreck real fast but uh, he looks really good uh, articulated very well I just wish they would have made some different decisions as far as where they place the ratchets but everything all being said I do recommend this guy uh, I can't say I recommend him over DX9, obviously, because I have no experience with that particular figure. So, uh, check out Kato's collection, because I know he has Attila. But, I do recommend him. Um, it's a bit expensive, so you are going to have to deal with that. But, the end product, in my opinion, they've, they've brought it all together in one nice bot. It's been a long road, but we got here. So everything, everything all together, I do recommend it. With that being said, thank you for watching. If you like the video, please click that like button. Don't forget to share with your friends. Don't forget to, forget to subscribe. And I will see you again next time. Character card. Don't mind the one-eyed dog that's... Gonna lay down in front of the TV and take a nap. Hey, buddy. You ready to meet YouTube? Hmm?
Say hi. Poor guy. Really? You want to be on YouTube too? Hmm? I'm Mumbles. Yeah? You guys are not conducive to recording for a YouTube channel. You know that? Oh, you know that? Do you want to say hi? Thank you for taking part. And it attaches really well, to be honest. Does good. Uh, damn it, cat.